When the Brera needs your attention, it's easy to know what in particular needs taking care of. Across the top of the machine are a series of red alert lights that are used to call your attention to different aspects of the machine. Now, starting from left to right, we first have the water reservoir light. Now, this light will turn on either when the reservoir is empty or when it's been removed from the machine. Simply replace the water reservoir or refill it to clear this error. Next to that, you have the no beans light, which obviously is for when there's no coffee in the hopper. And then the triangle with the exclamation point is the generalized maintenance alert light. Now, that could be used for a number of things. It could either be illuminated in conjunction with other symbols on the display, say when you're first priming the machine, for example, but also when the brew group is removed or the access door is open. The final light on the right is the dreg drawer alert, and now that is used either when the dreg drawer is full of pucks and needs to be emptied, or when it has been removed and needs to be reinserted into the machine. But taking care of these alerts and the maintenance required to prevent them is a very straightforward process. So let's get into it. You can't blame Gaja for using these red alerts to let you know when there's something that needs your attention. Red is one of the two most recognizable colors on the spectrum for human vision, and it's something that it's hard to miss. So this is, of course, the dreg drawer light, and I do not want to be looking at that anymore. So we'll simply pop the dreg drawer out of the machine. You can use your thumb, and then with the insert on the side, simply pull that out. Your spent coffee pucks are inside the drawer, and you'll find that as you brew more and more espresso, that they will generally become more and more cohesive. Your first couple of shots on the machine may not be in complete pucks, as the machine needs to learn your coffee a bit better. Simply knock those out into the garbage. But let's take a look at some of the other things that we can do with the dreg drawer removed. The access door on the right swings open and that gives you access to the brew group. Now, the brew group is where all of the coffee and espresso are ground, dispensed, and then ultimately compacted into a puck to brew your coffee on demand. So the brew group removes simply by pressing on this tab here next to the word push and you can slide it right out of the machine. So there are several aspects of this group that you can actually maintain. Now, first and foremost, it's important to get in there about every week or so and rinse off the coffee grounds that are collecting on the group. That occurs naturally. The group itself is made out of plastic, so it is water safe. You'll simply wanna do this maybe once a week, leave the group to air dry overnight, and then reinsert in the machine when you're done. You can also take a paper towel and wipe down the inside of the machine to wipe up any water or beans that have collected in there. Once that's done, you can simply use the two corners of the group itself to line up with the tracks in the machine and reinsert it. There's a nice firm click that will let you know that it has been reinserted properly and then you will no longer be able to remove the group unless you press that tab again. Now, it's also important to note that when it comes to lubricating the brew group using the included brew group lubricant, that's something that you will do on a one to four month basis and that all comes down to the amount of drinks that you brew. So you can refer to the manual for further instruction on the frequency of lubricating that group based on the number of coffees that you're making every day. So we'll go ahead and get our drawer back in, close up the door here. But our last bit of attention that we need to pay to this machine is of course going to be the drip tray. Now, unlike the other aspects of the Brera, the drip tray does not have a dedicated alert on the screen. Instead, Gaja has a visible red float inside the tray to let us know when there's too much water. So. As the tray fills with water, this float begins to bob and float inside the tray. Once you see that it's above the surface of your panel here, you're going to want to consider emptying out that drip tray. Now, the tray itself is actually quite deep and it extends all the way into the back of your machine. So that's a lot of water. As you can see, there are several chambers that can fill up, plus the small swimming pool that you have in the front here. Now, you do not want to let this tray get too full because when it does, it can become difficult to balance all that water, especially on the kind of 
oddly shaped tray that you've got here when carrying it over to the sink. So my recommendation, of course, is to make sure that anytime that you are either emptying your dreg drawer or refilling your water reservoir, you should take that opportunity to go ahead and empty the drip tray too. It's going to save you a lot of hassle. But once all those things are taken care of, you can simply reinsert the tray into the machine and you are ready to continue brewing. And that's it for maintenance on the Gaja Brera. And that's it for the Gaja Brera. There is just so much to love about this compact and affordable machine. As always, I'm Nick, and thank you so much for watching.